Fergus. This is a story about of Fergus, a little traction engine who always liked to do things right. One day, I asked him to help Bill and Ben at the quaggery, but poor F Fergus wasn't used to their tricks. Read about the trouble they caused him. Fergus, the little blue traction engine, was the pride of the cement works. He loved his work. He knew all the rules and always stuck to them. One morning, he was chuffing cheerfully across the island of Sodor. He was on his way to do the special job for the fat controller. Toot toot! As Fergus reached the station, there stopped, there stood Thomas. He was waiting for his passengers to board Annie and Clarabelle. Thomas gave a friendly peep peep on his whistle. Hello, Fergus, he said. I'm off to the, I'm off to work in the quarry today. Fergus told Thomas proudly. Watch out for me and Ben. Thomas warned. Do you have to get in mischief? Thank you, Thomas. I won't let a couple of rascals get better of me, wished Fergus. When Fergus arrived at the quarry, Mavis and the twins were waiting for him. Mavis was pleased that Fergus had come to help Jesus. and they set to work straight away. I'm, af I'm afraid their trucks are in the mess, she said. No, not to worry, puffed Fergus kindly. Well, well, so sort them together, Bill and Ben grinned in delight. Now, We'll have some fun, whispered Ben. Well, we'll have the old boiler in a spin, steamed Bill. Fergus was happy working with Maven. She is useful engine, just like me, he thought to himself. But Bill and Ben were not behaving like useful engines at all. Bill banged his trucks to so hard that some rocks fell out of the track. Steady, called Fergus. Do it right. I know I'm I know what I'm doing, wished Bill. Then Ben left his trucks on the point so that Fergus can get out of his siding. You've, you've boxed me, you've boxed me in, steamed Fergus. Shift those trucks out of my way. Do it right. But Ben just grinned. The next day, the works crew was blasting rock. The siren sounded to tell the engines that there was danger up ahead. In danger ahead, there was a loud boom and a cloud of dust filled the air. Wait, wait for the all clear. Listen for the siren, Fergus told Bill and Ben. Do it right. There he goes again, said Bill. Do it right. Do it right. It's... It's all he tells us from morning to night. Keep your big funnel out of our quarry, he huffed Ben rudely. Later, the quarry master sent Bill and Ben to collect a new rock crusher from the harbour. Bum, bum, bum! Fergus spent a happy afternoon shunting trucks with Mavis.
the quarry was a much more peaceful place without the twins around. At the harbour, Bill and Ben were still cross with Fergus. He always telling us what to do, moaned Bill. He always says, do it right, said Ben. Next time, he tells us what to do, wished Bill. Well, do it wrong, Ben said. With the rock crusher safely loaded on the flat truck, Bill, Ben, steamed it back to the quarry as quickly as they could. The rock crusher was heavy. It made the rails shake at the way back. Fergus was waiting for Bill and Ben to arrive. The blasting has made the rock face unsafe. He called to them, Stay away! Do things right! Bill and Ben didn't listen. They rattled their load towards the cliff as roughly as they could. Mavis and the twin engines worked busily to carry away the rocks and the rumble, rubber to took a long time to dig poor Fergus out. No one worked harder than Bill and Ben to try and rescue the little traction engine. They didn't moan and there were no tricks. They wanted to do things right. At last, Fergus was free. Bill and Ben were very ashamed of themselves. We shouldn't have to, we shouldn't have to be so naughty, said Bill. We're sorry, Fergus. We're very sorry, Fergus, added Ben. As as long as we're friends again. Now, smiled Fergus. Oh, yes, said the twins together. Good, smiled Fergus. From, from now on, we'll do things right together. I thought...